Is it live? Yes, it's live. We're live. Hello, everyone, and welcome. Welcome to this year AGM virtual edition still. Um, I hope you guys are well. We have a day full and packed, and we all wake up early in the morning to have the full <laughs> the full uh, uh, half of the board here today. You're going to see some of us throughout the day moderating the sessions uh, and um, here to introduce a little bit the chapter, what we do, and the conference and the wonderful activities that we have today. So today with me, I have uh, Vladimir, Kriti, and Shireen, and you see them throughout the day. Uh, guys, you want to wave and say uh, hello? Hello, everybody. Hi, everyone. So today we have a day packed uh, full of activities. So in the headline, we have Raj uh, this early afternoon. I'm going to go through the agenda later. This is just a headline, but we have much more, uh, many, many more uh, speakers. Uh, ben Hanson from Microsoft. We have Mario Platz uh, uh, from Cloud Margin. We have myself. I'm going to talk, of course, about application security and cloud security as ever. Sedar, uh, Oanate, and then we have a wonderful diversity panel uh, and with Sherin and Kriti moderating. Uh, today's moderator will be myself in the morning, then Vladimir will take over from me, and then this afternoon you have the wonderful Kriti and Shireen taking you through the session. So um, for the for the talks, well, of course, we have the uh, talk this morning. It's going to be a little bit uh, longer because I'm Italian and I like to talk. <laughs> so we're going we're gonna to go till 10.30. Uh, then we have the opening keynote with Antique Legan. Uh, on threat wars in power shift left. So talking about threat modeling and shifting left. Uh, then we have Abhishek talking on the experience about Google Cloud and uh, Google security and how they are building that in other groups. So it's a very interesting talk. You should definitely uh, look at, looking forward for that. Uh, then Kriti is going to um, talk a little bit about the research and the cloud enablement program that we are conducting in circle and the whole activity. And then Lee will take over and discuss a little bit on, on our panel. Uh, so we run a number of panel and I'll, I'll talk more about uh, this today. And we publish some, uh, we publish the report and the output of those panels. And today we're going to talk about zero trust. Um, then Raj, uh, then Vladimir will take over as a moderator and Raj Shamani uh, from my cafe, we'll talk about cybersecurity resilience. It is the key and core element of what we talk through the conference. Is the is the uh, is the conference theme, and then Owanate uh, is going to take us the angle uh, with Bestman solution on certification and why it is important and what people really want. And then Vladimir will talk us through to what we have done in the past year and uh, what we have. Um, plan forward and uh, the activity to get involved. And then in the afternoon session, we have the wonderful uh, Shireen and Kriti moderating the diversity in, uh, in cyber panel. And we choose this time to actually be very diverse. So last year, we wanted to be woman first woman in cyber. This year, the theme is diversity. So the panel is diverse to keep the conversation going between everybody and having a diverse uh, approach on the diversity panel. <laughs> um, then Mario Platt is going to talk about the risk model and uh, threat modeling in dynamic environment. And I'm going to talk about damn smart security. <laughs> um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna talk a little bit about the title and why I choose that specific title. And uh, closing through the day, Ben Hansen is gonna uh, have very interesting talk that is uh, has very few slides on cyber and is very much about talking about cyber. We quote, I really like uh, really like that talk. And Crit is gonna moderate the afternoon session. Um, then Sedar is gonna talk about full IT outsourcing and the key learning uh, from Deloitte. And then um, Paul Simon is going to uh, talk us through uh, the announcement election. I'm going to talk a little bit throughout this. We have a number of roles that are going to become available uh, for the board. We have a few positions that we open, and we're going to explain how to submit your name uh, for the raffle and then uh, how to actually vote. And then... Uh, 
I'm going to close the day with thanks and a wrap up of the sessions. And yeah, that will be it for the day. We're going to try to keep it short so that at five, I know that everybody uh, is, is crumb on, on desks. And uh, this was also going to be available offline. The recording is going to be available uh, for everybody to listen to and to and to watch later. But we decided to keep it till five so that we we know that everybody has a life. <laughs> um, so I want to talk a little bit about who we are and the wonderful team that made all of this possible and all of this um, happening because uh, it's not my face, but it's the people that sit behind and uh, managed to organize this. And a big, big shout out to Vlad, Vladimir Jurasek, our deputy chair and the director of event that's been wonderful and making all of this happen. It's been coordinating the background, keeping us on check, keeping us on time, uh, making everything happen, making sure that we have all the speaker. There is a lot of uh, thing going in the background and everybody in the board is, uh, is, is, is making the chapter happening. So every talk, has a lot of background research, background work, and it's only possible with donation, with support, sponsorship, and with the uh, enormous amount of work that we all volunteer into. Um, but uh, this is the board. This is uh, is is who we are. Uh, we do this to give back to the community. So I really hope this um, helps getting cyber out there and getting everybody a little bit more cyber safe. But going around, we have Lee, that is our historic memory as the board member, the previous chapter leader, myself as a chair. Then Paul Simon, uh, the other historic memory is um, the one that's gonna, that keeps in check and, and uh, knows the rule of the land. Vlad, as I said, is our director of event and also the deputy chair. Uh, Shereen is our board treasurer, diversity, and <laughs> it helps us throughout. Sean uh, is our director of membership. Crit is our director of research um, and also runs a number of forums uh, on Circle and a number of activities that uh, she's going to talk us through. And then the media, it's uh, our board members. And we have a few roles vacant that I'm going to talk to you in a second. So on election, uh, election runs every two years. The rules are up for two years. We did vote uh, throughout the last year for, uh, for the majority of role uh, up for uh, voting and candidate uh, this year will be my role as a chair. We have the deputy chair uh, that uh, Vlad is, is currently taking as an interim um, and then Dimitri Yates as a general board member. We have new roles. So if you want to come and join this wonderful group of uh, crazy talent and uh, help us through, we have a secretary, uh, we have two general board member position and um, a communication director. So if you are, it doesn't necessarily need to be in, in, in cyber, you know, if you're in marketing and you want to help us out, if you're in communication, if you are a graduate and you want to learn and start building up your experience, this is a perfect place to be and um, a fantastic, a fantastic um, thing to put on your CV. So please come and join us and help us getting CSA UK as uh, as wide as possible and as uh, to as many people as possible. So the, um, uh, the candidate uh, form and an election will run through November. After November, we'll announce who are the runner for the various position. And then the voting will be from December to January. In at the end of January, uh, so beginning of February, we will announce who is uh, the winner for the various position and the new board structure. Uh, so the, the chapter who we are right now is uh, a chair that is up for voting. That is my um, uh, my name, the vice chair or deputy chair, Vladimir uh, Sherin as a treasurer. We have Kriti as director of research, Vlad as well taking the double hat like we all do as director of event. And then we have the comms and secretary that are vacant. So what we do as a chapter is fundamentally organize this talk, uh, distribute fundamentally white paper, coordinating the activity in um, CSA uh, interface with the various group with global 
and I'm going to talk about how to do that uh, either if you're a member, if you are a board. Uh, and then as a board, is making sure that you make things happen uh, as an event, as a sponsorship, as a research, as a white paper. So a board has a bit more responsibility roles. So you can join as a member for free or you can join as a board and make the difference. Uh, as a CSA, as a global, we, we have a, a chapter presence and a global presence. We are a non-for-profit organization. We have over uh, 70,000 individual members, 300 corporate sponsorship, and 65 chapter and growing. And uh, we're here to actually build uh, the next level of open, vendor-free, independent research on what Google looks like from a cyber perspective. There is a number of modules that I'm going to you're going to hear uh, throughout the day um, that we publish. The more famous one is the CCM, the CAQ, the Star Register, the Egregious 11. Uh, the, C um, the, the, um, the CCM is fundamentally used by uh, any cloud vendors to evaluate what good looks like in the cloud. CAQ is a traditional security questionnaire. Uh, if you are in the cloud and you don't have this, please look at this. STAR is our registry for um, to publish uh, who is certified and who is not certified uh, on cloud security and so many more. So in terms of research, in terms of UK chapter, what we do is uh, th that's our website where you can see all the talk, all the previous events and the upcoming events. So please bookmark it and look at it. We also have LinkedIn. We're very active on social media to actually make sure that we outreach as much as possible. And we have a LinkedIn group. Uh, we are What we do as a chapter is we do research, one, pa uh, one page, a blog post, host a blog post. So even if you... Um, don't want to talk and you want to say something about cloud security please come and join us and talk about cloud security and make your voice heard and make um and and it's a it's a very good thing to add on your cv on uh on on events it's um it's something good to give to give back to the community talking about your your thing and from my personal experience it helped me grow massively because it helped me putting my ideas out and validating my ideas out. So even if you don't think you ever wrote a blog post, come share what you think. And it's it's a useful exercise. Uh, we run events and uh, we run academic outreach. With, we work with a number of universities. In terms of <clears throat> chapters, uh, we have a LinkedIn presence. So we do a lot on LinkedIn. We have a website, but also we have Circle. Uh, so Circle is our community, circle.cloudsecuritalliance.org, where all our members discuss and debate in a forum, and we share the latest news, the latest event. So please join us in Circle as well, if you are a member or not a member. Uh, as I said, we need more people. We have the board role, but also we have people, uh, if you want, that... Um, if you want to contribute, you can mentor other people on cloud security. We have Pretty that's going to talk around a little bit the mentorship program and how they work. We have research. Again, Pretty is going to talk throughout this. We have event happening. So if you want to talk, or if you want to help us coordinating event, if you want to help us getting a message out of that, uh, we have Vlad talking about this. And then networking is the key thing. You can find us at CSA UK chapter on, on Twitter and LinkedIn. Uh, we have uh, CSA UK. If you search CSA UK, you're going to find us. We have a few pages that you can access directly, so I'm not going to dwell uh, too much around it. All right. And last element, um, we are accepting sponsorship, of course, because we need to make this uh, this group running. Uh, so if you're a vendor, they want to do a talk. Uh, if you are... Uh, somebody they want to um, make your voice heard. Uh, and if you all want to contribute to our community, uh, please come and join us. So let me let me see how we're doing with time. We have I've gone throughout <laughs> a little bit faster. So let me let me bring back uh, our team. Let's leave me on this slide. Guys, you want to come back on live.
Yeah, we're going we're going a little bit too fast on the on the presentation, so maybe we can talk a little bit throughout um, the event that are happening and what it is. How do you how do you guys join CSA UK and why did you join in the first place? Maybe, Peter, you wanna you wanna take it? Yeah, sure. I suppose for me, um, it was important that I was at a stage where I felt I would need to give back to the community. And uh, I mean, th there was a, a large learning curve for me uh, when I started in the industry. And I felt that at that moment, I was ready to be there for people who are newcomers, new joiners, and hence I was speaking about the mentorship program and the research. And I think it's very important for people to be involved um, just it just uh, enlarges your whole knowledge and encompasses, and you do better at work. And it, it's it's such a it's such a great thing to do as well to to help everyone in the community. Fantastic. And what's been your experience? How how has uh, joining the the CSA help you growing personally and and your business and in your business and in your career fundamentally? Oh, certainly. I think it's been it's been a great learning curve to be on the other side, to be part of the organizing team. I, I think it's it's you know just being part of this is and also being able to actively participate and run sessions and also meet everyone. There's been a lot of positives. I think come out of, of being part of Cloud Security Alliance. So certainly, guys, if uh, you are uh, thinking or you're part of the cloud community. I would say come and join us. It, it's a great team to be around. There's a lot to do. There's a lot of research going on. And I think there's great opportunities to learn in here. I think from my perspective, what I, what I took out of a lot of this conversation is you can you have kind of free consultancy or, or, or free brainstorming activity where you can talk to your peers. If you are in the cloud, if you're doing an activity, you can brainstorm and you know it's talking about it's valid in your idea a lot. So you have an extended community that helps you growing faster and validating faster what you do. But let me pick on on Vlad. Vlad uh, is, is my is my second shoulder. Is is what made the, the whole conference happen. So maybe give give the audience a little bit of, of a feel of, of how crazy it is to run a conference. Well, uh, you know. <laughs> It's it's a lot of shuffling, you know. I'm I'm sure everybody in uh, you know in the industry, you know, working remotely, kind of understands how sometimes difficult it is to find a common time to to meet, you know, <laughs> uh, many uh, between many people, uh, you know. Also, kind of update the website, uh, make sure that the you know the bios and the synopsis uh, is is correct. Uh, but probably the most, I guess, interesting part is to. Uh, is to go out to the community and find out interesting speakers that are willing to share their experience and knowledge. Uh, I think that's that's most challenging, but also most most rewarding as well. You know, building contacts and uh, and getting to know each uh, or, you know, each and every one of them, uh, either personally or online. Uh, and of of course, these relationships, uh, you know, uh, might last longer. You know, uh, for for next events, for next conferences, in personal or or business life. So. It's a it's kind of win-win for everybody. You know? uh, I personally started with <laughs> CSA probably when uh, when it was even launched in the UK, uh, you know, with uh, Raj Samani uh, and you know Paul Simmons at that time. Uh, I believe it was back in 2012 or something like that. So long time ago, uh, you know, at that time, cloud computing was fairly new concept um, mm -hmm. and the cloud services were certainly you could fit them on one page which today is probably very difficult to do from from any cloud uh, service provider uh, and the you know I think the the common purpose of the cloud security alliance was really to give the guidance how to secure the cloud but also and it is more important you know today as well uh, to actually give the like a common questions and uh, you know questionnaires and controls that the cl potential clients and prospects you know that are looking into uh, to evaluate their cloud security provider, what kind of questions uh, to, to ask for, rather than having their own kind of questionnaires and then the uh, imagine a service provider answering you know fifty versions of 
pretty much the same questions, but you know, in different formats, different different language, different uh, different meanings sometimes, and it it was a pain. Back in 2011, 12, when we were doing uh, you know assessments of the uh, of the providers, uh, you know, the CSA work really helped, uh, and we were pushing to uh, for you know end user companies to start using that as a the common uh, uh, common way to evaluate uh, cloud security providers, and it obviously built uh, built from then. And now, now we have a registry of uh, of the certified cloud providers at various levels. So, I think yeah. it was very beneficial work, and you uh, know, it has been great uh, great journey. Yeah, and and today, just to pick up on what Vlad Vlad said, we have the registry, but also we have the auditor certification that just come out. Um, and um, I think it just come out from the edit that have been part of some of these work. And this is what good uh, what good benefit, I think, adds by being part of this community, by being part of Zirko. You get to uh, influence the future state of uh, an industry standard like the CCM. You can be part of these things and define what good looks like from your perspective. So adds enormous uh, trustworthiness and uh, authority on you, uh, help you validating a lot of stuff, help you pairing and networking with a lot of the industry leader that participate in this forum. So it's a community that brings people together, makes you shine, makes other people shine and make everybody more knowledgeable. So please come and join us. But uh, let me let me, let me me ask Shereen, <laughs> how, how did you start in, in CSA UK and, and what did you get out of this journey? Hi. So um, I think for me, so I I actually returned from a career. I had a career break um, and I came I, during that career break. I think, Francesco, I met you at a conference in cloud. I think during that career break, um, I was already working in, in security, um, but I, I knew I needed a new direction and I wanted to get into move from like the more advisory consulting side into learning about new technologies and cloud. And I was like, where do I start? And I think somehow we met and then I got to know you and then you told me about and I start chasing you down. <laughs> yeah, and, um, and I was like, the more I thought about it and I thought as someone sort of mid career, um, it, it, why not just get involved in, in your industry and just learn. It's a really good way to network, to meet people, but give, give, give back. If you want to have a really rewarding career, I think for most people, you know that they, they, maybe they're happy just doing their job day to day but i think for me and i think for a lot of people to take it that little step further and get that enjoyment of and especially around education because of a lot of what we're doing um is promoting best as you said promoting best practices um in, in this industry and obviously i'm we're all on our different learning journeys that we're constantly learning um and it's just really nice to kind of give that back and also showcase um other people in the industry who share the same sort of viewpoint um, about giving back as well, and you know, talent in the industry as well. Um, so please do come get involved. That's that's the key thing. So maybe maybe thank you, Sharon. And maybe let me ask, what is your what is your view and expectation on the next year to come? What what would you like to see more? uh do us doing in in the next year and and guys in in uh please comment of what you like to see because we are here for you uh we're here to address what you like to see and we can only know if you guys tell us what you want to see uh in comments in forums in communication uh which talk did you like which talk didn't you like uh, if you like to see some uh, us discussing and debating and publishing some content around specific things, please let us know because if you don't let us know, we, we're never gonna know. <laughs> yeah. So maybe uh, let me let me start around. Uh, Shirin, what what do you what you're looking forward for next year? I'm particularly looking forward to so Kriti Kriti's doing a talk later on about cloud enablement and sort of targeting people who are perhaps a little new to the industry or maybe they want to learn more about cloud and cloud security so i'm quite interested in, personally i'm interested in helping people because obviously the issue we've got so we've got so many jobs in cyber we've got we haven't got enough talent and skills or we've got talent but we haven't <laughs> got the skills to fill those jobs yet so 
it's more ta tackling people earlier in their career or like um, at a younger age. So I'd like to perhaps do something at a younger age, um, school age, but also career changes as well. Um, so I'm really excited from the education perspective. What, what can we do as volunteers to help others learn, learn more, to start with the, 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 the foundations so that you can learn more about this. Once you learn about this, this new way of working, um, the new paradigm of cloud, um, but obviously it's not new anymore. But, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I'm, um, I'm going to talk a little bit about the history of the cloud maybe later on, and it's it's 15 years and more old, so it's, it's it seems a new concept, but it's actually not that new. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Vlad, how about how about you? What you what are you looking for for next year? So you know, uh, we we definitely want to organize you know great events. We've had really good blast, and I, I have a session later today. Uh, so more of these, um, and you know, we want to structure it slight, maybe slightly differently. Of course, having panels and you know this conference is great. Uh, then we have the lightning talks, uh, but I also want to bring in sponsors uh, and uh, also uh, let's say moderated uh, explanation and uh, intro into the vast library of collaterals that Cloud Security Alliance have accumulated over years. You know, it's, uh, it's becoming a, a huge body of knowledge that uh, is sometimes you know, difficult to navigate. So I think we need to, yeah. uh, we need to do better at that. And uh, you know, that's the focus for, for next uh, 12 months as well. And I, I to yeah, totally yeah. agree with you know Shireen, and uh, it's it's like you know my daughter is in school, and uh, although you know at young age yet, um, but I do see that the schools need to do better at curriculum, and it's it's not uh, targeting anyone in specific, but uh, you know we we need the school system to produce people that are confident, can uh, can jump into the into the business at various roles. Uh, and are willing to uh, to learn more because you know the school, in my view, is just a baseline. No. Uh, yeah, so. and not nothing better than going out there and trialing by fire, like we all yeah. have done. <laughs> exactly. Greedy. Uh, as uh, as a conclusion, uh, w w what has been your journey? You, know, you touched a little bit before, but what are you looking forward for next year? I mean, certainly, I think I think for me it's very very important to have this community. Uh, build for cloud security, uh, security professionals and beginners in the UK. Uh, not just the, you know, for the community to have a safe space to actually discuss the things which matters to them, the things where they can openly talk about um, and, and gain the knowledge and, and share equally as well. And I'd say very much agree with Shireen and Vlad. It's, uh, it's a question of confidence. When you know what you're doing, you do those things better. So why not start it early? And hence why I was thinking about the mentoring program, the research, and get people involved, really. The more people we have in this growing community, the better it is for, for everyone. And we're just going to um, you know, create that professionals. There's a skill shortage already. So it'll be great for the community and also for Cloud Security Alliance. It's a great space for knowledge. So guys, come, come and join us um, to learn and share and grow together. Absolutely, and I'm looking forward to go back in presence and doing this maybe a little bit more in presence, doing meetups because I think we have missed that. Uh, we have missed that last year, 